guys, it's Jamie. Welcome to my Walking Through Flowers YouTube channel where I create DIY and lifestyle videos that keep Mother Nature in mind. Today, I'm going to be restuffing a dog toy. Check out this cute little lamb shot for my dog. She had this for, I want to say, less than six hours and she had already busted through it. I decided, instead of just taking it away from her or just letting her take all the stuffing out, I went ahead and did it myself and I'm going to stuff it with a, an old t-shirt. That way, if she rips it open again, there's not a bunch of stuffing everywhere. If I throw a t-shirt in it, it's really not going to matter. I can just sew it back up. As you can see, I've already taken out all the stuffing. So I've got an old t-shirt here. I'm going to have to cut this up. I'm not going to do this in any particular manner. Probably just cut it in strips. Wow, this is all just so not easy. Just one strip. I suppose I could use fabric scissors. Might be a little easier. Not easier. In fact, that is way more difficult. How is that even possible? Oh, so the point of me doing this, I'm restuffing it so that I don't have to go out and buy a new toy when I could just restuff it with a t-shirt and reuse. So I got the t-shirt all ripped up. Now it'll be a lot easier to put into the toy. So I'm just gonna start with fabric in the face. She's so cute. Why build a bear when you can build a lamb? All right, so I've got the leg stuffed. All right, go to the right arm. Oh, it's not perfect. She's kind of lumpy. I started rewatching Lamb Chops Play Along in high school because I wasn't weird enough. I think that's sufficient. <laughs> She's got this like, what up? Thing going. I'll fix it once I get her all sewn together. Oh, it's too loud. Ooh, I forgot I was eating a banana. All right, and my trusty sewing kit. One needs a needle. There. Ooh, this thread is kind of thin, but I double it up so that it makes it, I suppose, twice, twice as strong. Just tie the two strings together, the end. All right, oh man, I forgot the most important part to get the true Build-A-Bear experience. I've got some of these little foam hearts. I think this one will do just fine. You're supposed to make a wish, so what should I wish for? This will forever have my love. Now I can go back to sewing. So I am just going to sew this bad boy up. I'll be right back. Okay, the surgery is complete. Got it all sewn together. Tie this off. So it's almost time for the review. I need to finish this banana. This is so exciting. Come here, come here, sit, sit. Oh, what's that? What is that? What is that? Got your lamb chop all fixed. Wait, come back. You're welcome. Oh, is that your lamb chop? Is that your lamb chop? Did I fix it? And that is how to make a dog super happy. I think it's super important that we mend the things that we do own and try to make them last as long as possible so that we're not buying new items that use new materials that have a ton of packaging. It's a really great way to live a more green lifestyle, if you will. Not just throwing things in recycle bins, but if you've got a hole in a t-shirt, just sew it up. It's really not hard. There's a ton of information online on how to do something like that. If you break a dish, try to glue it or go out to a thrift store and buy one there so you don't have to buy new. But thank you so much for watching. Obviously, you know that you can subscribe. Stay in touch. Don't be a stranger. I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.